Hi, my name is Amanda and this is my reflection for your FP2. Sharp reverse shot. Look what the other guy. Sharp reverse shot. For pre-production, I was the sound person, so there's not really much pre-production to do for sound. However, I was given the AD role after Suleiman decided to defer, so I had to do the detailed schedule and breakdown sheets, uh, and call sheets. Yeah, and that was quite hard to do because we swapped the script at the very last minute and we didn't have time to find the location of the car, so there was a lot of missing information. Oh yeah, the call sheets were quite hard to do because we had um, it was the Hari Raya weekend and our cast, main cast Shai Star, she had to leave at 6 p.m. on Sunday, and also she had to leave earlier on Saturday before evening, and only come at 11 a.m. So we technically had a seven-hour shoot, and it was really hard because we also had evening scenes to shoot, but we had to do sort of day for night. Shot, reverse shot Look what the other got Shot, reverse shot Look what the other got As for production, it went generally well. We overran the first day by two hours and surprisingly, we underran by one hour on the second day. The one that we had to end at six. For day one, I didn't know that two of the talents had to leave at 6.30, that was our initial wrap-up time. But we were going to overrun and the talents told us that they couldn't stay. So we paid them more. And the other one, just we just had to rush the scenes. Mm. We, I guess we ended so late on day one because we had no shot list and no overhead plan. And we spent half the day planning the shots on set. I tried my best. Do not sound like I was nagging because the 80s job on set is to sort of keep time. And it helped that Maram was on set with me because the times when I wasn't nagging them, Maram was like, you really have to do it. It's your job and it will benefit the set. So I did it and thanks to Maram as well, we ended on time and even earlier. We had an extra shoot on the following Thursday because we couldn't finish shooting all the scenes during the weekend. It went generally well except that there was a generator and the sound isn't, doesn't really sound that nice. So I will have to denoise it. Can you even feel this real? With such a shallow depth of feel. I think the post-production process for my group was really efficient because Nina, Avery and I worked really well together to edit both the video and the sound parts of AFP2. And we were totally on time for both checkpoints, we didn't have to rush anything at all. So after the fine cut, there were some more comments about editing little parts here and there. The trouble is that when Nina edits on Avid again, I'll have to redo the whole sound mixing on Pro Tools. Because she can't really, she told me she can't really see the dissolves or fades on Avid. So I realized the sound should really be done only after the whole picture is locked. My overall experience for AFP2, I guess, is pretty good. Despite the problems that our group faced, I think we came up with a product that was not too bad after all. And I know it's not one person's fault that we were rushed for time and it can't be helped anymore, so we might as well just move on and do what we can to save the project. Well, it's not much to be saved because we did, I think Nina did a pretty good job editing at the end. And I've been taking this semester a bit differently from the previous two years of my FSV life. I've been more interested in learning and absorbing information, so I guess I've been enjoying myself a lot. And I don't regret anything I do. So AFP2 was a great experience. Shot, reverse shot. Look what the other guy.